Here's another ghost story. These are real stories, not fiction. They really happen. To me. I call myself the ghost, the phantasma. That's what my friends used to call me. But before they called me phantasma, they called me Gabriel. That's the name my parents gave me. And I've been through a lot. I'm gonna tell you a little story. When I was uh, in eighth grade, 1992, a long time ago, I was graduating from St. Agnes uh, Catholic School, eighth grade, gonna go to high school at Brokey. And my dad took me to uh, a store, a shoe store. He said, son, you need a good pair of shoes, you know, you're gonna have a graduation, and you're gonna be looking for jobs, and you need a good pair of shoes. Now, my dad really didn't have a lot of money, but we went to this store called Allen Edmonds. I swear to you, there wasn't a shoe in this store less than $200. These are nice, nice dress shoes, right? I think he made a, paid about two seventy five dollars for my pair of shoes. I was 12, and they fit really good, and they look nice, and really fancy shoes, right? So I wore those shoes. I wore them to my graduation. And then I wore them throughout high school when I had to go for a job or had a dance or even when I got married I wore those shoes I was still wearing them the shoes that he got me when I was you know 12 years old I was still wearing the shoes right into my 20s you know every time I had a, a dealing in court a important a important interview a important meeting I broke out these Allen Edmonds right nice shoes they came with these cedar inserts that kept them form, you know, soft leather. You don't want it to collapse. I'd shine them, and i buff them, and i wear them again and again and again. And when I'm important business trips or, uh, you know, any, anything important, I had that pair of shoes to wear. And so I lived a whole life in these shoes, right? Important days. And I took them out the other day. And they still look good. One of them... The sole's a little worn. It's got a little hole in it. It needs to be re resold, reconditioned. So I tried them on because I was going to go out. So let's wear these nice shoes. I was going to go for an interview. Funny thing is, is they don't fit the same way they used to fit. You know, they're a little tight, a little, little, little uncomfortable, a little, a little tight on my foot. You know, my foot's changed shape. I'm bigger, heavier than when I was the. Well, for sure. I got me to thinking, you know, these are still good shoes and I can recondition them and put them, you know, wear them again someday, but maybe I just used up these shoes. Maybe, maybe it's time for me to say, put them away and forget about them. Maybe it's time for me to try on new shoes and do, do, do different things. I mean, those shoes took me a lot of places, but I ended up here, and now, now they don't fit. I had to buy me a new pair of shoes that fit. My feet are my bigger. So, you can hold on to something for so long, and you gotta grow it. You change. You're different than you were before. The things that you used to wear as a kid, you can't wear no more. Come on. Who, who, can, who can get into their old outfits from high school? Who even has your old outfits? We don't, we don't even have that stuff. We, we change. We don't fit into the same clothes. We, we, we try different fashions. We try different looks. You know? So I think I've been holding on to a lot of things so long. I think I hold on because I remember the good times and it feels good to have that memory. But let's be realistic. There are a lot of bad times too. I tend not to dwell on them because I don't want to get negative. But maybe it's time for me just to walk away from all that. Go somewhere else. Do something different. What have I got to lose? I mean, I did the quote unquote air quotes right way and it didn't come out right for me. Not that I want to go the wrong way. No, don't get me wrong. But maybe I'll just go a different way. 
something totally off the chart. Something that no one expects. Shoes. We have them, we wear them, we wear them out. They're with us for a season. Sometimes people are with us for a season. Sometimes we wear people out. Where are you welcome? Or they wear out theirs. We wear out the usefulness that they're using you. I guess I wear out the usefulness of these shoes. Maybe I'll recondition them, but my foot's bigger. Maybe I'll just leave them how they were. All that wear and tear. Something so nice, so so nice one day is now old and forgotten. Maybe that's going to be me someday. So nice one day, now just forgotten. Well, now you won't forget this ghost story. And you know, if you have something in your life that you've been holding on to for so long, maybe it's time to let it go. Times are changing, bro.